Hello buddy, it's Ben Dominator, and today I'm going to be giving you guys some great tips and tricks if you want to make your own Battle Royale trailers, or trailers for really any creative map. I'm going to be showing you guys a lot of cool tips and tricks, mainly for PC, but if you're playing on console, a lot of this stuff will help you out as well. Now the main thing you're going to want to do for, before doing anything else is you want to kind of plan out what your trailer is going to be. I recommend writing it down somewhere on your computer or on a piece of paper just the general idea of what kind of trailer you want to make whether it be like a cinematic trailer or a gameplay gameplay trailer and what characters you want to be in the trailer and what story you want to tell with it so in today's video i'm going to be going over a basic kind of battle royale map cinematic just so you guys can get a lot of different ideas of how you could go about doing it yourself so the very first step here besides planning of course is you want to go into your settings and you want to make sure that you go to the game settings and you make sure record replays on and record creative replays on you have to have both of these options on for it to work and yeah that's pretty self-explanatory but just thought just in case make sure you have that as well and then you're going to want to go into your creative map Alright, so here I am just in Season 4 of Broom Royale. I'm just going to use this as kind of a demonstration. None of the stuff that I'm making is going to actually be canon to Broom Royale. I'm just going to be showing you guys some basic things using Broom Royale as kind of the template of the map, of course, being a Battle Royale map. Let's say I wanted to make a trailer where maybe the logger was kind of doing, doing some stuff. So, uh, I want to... What you want to make sure you do is you want to plan it out and then make sure you want to go into you want to start your game because if you don't start your game then you're probably going to see some props show up in replay mode where you don't want them another thing you can do to even go even further is you can delete some chests uh if you make a copy of the map and delete some chests in the area that you want to make your cinematic i do recommend doing that because having chests in the background especially with the noise in the background as well can be a bit distracting for the cinematic i'm not going to do this now because I'm not going to make a backup of the map right now, but I do recommend if you're doing that, that you go ahead and delete some chests and go into play mode to avoid seeing devices and stuff. Also, if you have any music in your map, like for example, this little area inside Brim Royale has a music box, I suggest turning off music completely. So go to your settings and turn off music because you do not want to hear music in your trailer, especially if you plan on overlaying music because overlaying music is very important. You want some custom music for your trailer and you don't want to hear a bunch of in-game music as well. So I suggest turning that down. And even if you really want to go the extra mile and turn off sound effects and add all your own sound effects, you can. So let's go ahead and start game and kind of just act out a little bit of a scene here. We're not going to do something crazy for a cinematic right now. I just want to give you guys a pretty uh, simple look at this. Also, I recommend getting rid of your storm too, because that can cause problems if you're not quick enough or if you want to do something really long. And of course, you'd probably want to do a bit more planning than I am right here. But let's say he sits down and he starts kind of recording a log. If you want to do any dialogue, you can just slightly tilt your head around like this. And it can kind of look like you're talking a bit. And if you do plan on doing dialogue, you want to do this for as long as you possibly can. You may have to play multiple rounds if you do have a storm. So yeah, I'm just going to do this as long as possible because I don't know how long the dialogue is going to take. And you want to make sure that when you're going into actually filming, you're going to get multiple angles. I'll go into that a lot more when actually filming the shots for this. Now, not much of a story going on here, but again, this is really just to show you how you can frame certain scenes in your trailer. And now you're going to want to go back to little lobby you're going to want to leave creative and you're going to want to open up your replay oh also one last thing before you go into replay mode you want to make sure that you are recording your fortnite screen and this way you can actually record the clips that you're getting if you're playing on pc you can download a software called obs completely for free very good recording software and then also if you are on console you would probably need to get a capture card I know that on PS5 and stuff like that, there's built-in recording softwares on there. But I believe that for last-gen consoles like the Xbox One and the PS4, you're going to need a capture card. Alright, so you're going to want to go to your replays folder, which is of course career and then replays right here. And it's usually going to be the 
top of the list because it's going to be the most recent replay and you're going to go ahead and play the replay all right so now we are in the replay and i i actually do really recommend using a controller because if you use a keyboard and mouse your shots are not going to be as smooth you're not going to be able to move the camera around as smoothly with a controller so you want to use a controller if you have the option to if not keyboard and mouse works fine but if you really do want to improve your trailers a lot and you play on pc I would definitely recommend investing in a controller of some kind. So what you're going to want to do for your trailer is you're going to want to make sure you get some interesting shots. So say I start the trailer with a bit of an establishing shot here. You're going to want to make sure when the trailer starts, people know where it's taking place. So if I was going to do a trailer, since this trailer seems to be taking place, but mainly a pipe place, you want to get a nice establishing shot for your trailer. Okay, so you're going to want to get like a nice establishing shot like this. You can even say start focusing on the chest. And you notice how I'm kind of making it a little off to the side. Now this is known as the rule of thirds. You're going to want to make your shots. This, this really makes your shots a lot more interesting. Instead of having a shot just like this, this is kind of a boring shot. It's just straight in the middle. You're going to want to get an interesting shot like this. It makes it a bit more interesting. And then we can kind of focus on the chest. Make sure your HUD is fully hidden and wait for the fully hidden HUD thing to go away. Start your recording and then you can kind of lower your speed and then slowly rise up while also tilting the control stick to get a pretty interesting establishing shot. So yeah, just doing little camera movements like this, making sure that the camera's not always still at all times can really help make your trailer more interesting. So now let's go ahead and go into the kind of meat of the trailer, which is going to be the logger. Now you notice I have a lot of props around here, which is kind of making it a bit blurry. That can be a little bit annoying. Now we see here that we made the logger sit down here and talk. This is probably one of the most important things you'll see me do in my trailers a lot. You want to get a really nice zoomed focus shot of the person speaking. It does make this look super cinematic. And especially if you kind of make your settings higher, it is going to improve uh, drastically how it looks. But you can get a really good shot like this. Again, notice how the character is kind of off to the side a bit. The shot would be really boring if it was like this. You don't want a shot like this. This is a bad shot. This is a boring shot. You want something like this. It's a bit off to the side. It makes the shot more interesting. Again, people in movies use this all the time. It's called the rule thirds. It's very helpful and it's just a long lasting thing that just makes shots look better. You're going to want to align so the focus is good. Sometimes the focus can get a little wacky. And then you're just going to press play. But you don't want to keep this shot the whole time. You can make sure that you get this shot long enough for what you want it to be. If you already have a script written for the character's dialogue, you'll know how long you want these shots to be. And I do recommend writing a script for dialogue if you're doing it. But yeah, let's say he was talking there. And then we're going to move the camera a bit. And we're going to get another shot because you do not want the same shot the whole exact the whole time. This is a pretty similar shot, but you can see we move to the other side. And this is going to be really good for making the trailer feel a lot more interesting. And especially if you want to know what the logger is doing, you want to make sure or whatever character you're using, you want to make sure you also get at least one shot just showing like a wider shot showing exactly what they're working with here. So. This gives more of a shot of the table in front of them. And now you can kind of see that the logger is doing a bit of doing like a recording, doing a lock. And making different shots, even during, especially during dialogue scenes, does really help make your trailer a lot more interesting. When you're having a character move from one place to another, you want to make sure that the camera catches a lot of it. We can even get a big establishing shot of pipe place like this. Okay, so now I'm in my editing software. Uh, this editing software in particular is called Shotcut, but you can, uh, the tips that I'm going to be showing you don't really apply to a specific editor. I'm not really going to be showing you exactly like how the editor works. I'm just going to be showing you how you can edit clips together to make the trailer look good. Just a lot of tips and tricks. So any editor will really work, but I'm using Shotcut as an example. Again, it is free and I do highly recommend it if you want a good free editing software. All right, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up your file for your video that you recorded, hopefully. 
and you're just wanting to drag it into the editor here and then this is what we got and then for me I'm just going to drag and drop it into here into the timeline and I'm going to go ahead and mute the audio on my end because this does have all this just has me talking throughout the whole thing but uh, I do recommend you keep the audio on so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to find the establishing shot that we took and I do believe that it was a lot later in the video I'm actually going to go to the source all right so I found the clip and I'm going to put it in here and see that little like the fully hidden HUD thing there I want to make sure the that you don't see that in the trailer. So I'm gonna cut that out as well. And then you can see this is how the trailer starts. Now, if you're using Shotcut, then uh, I'm gonna show you guys some tips for Shotcut. If you drag here, this is how you can get it to fade in. I do recommend having your trailer start with a fade in, whether it be a long fade in or a short one. As you can see, I was kind of testing out the camera here. So I'm gonna wait for the shot to actually start, which is about here. And I'm going to move this here. And I'm going to increase the fade in because it makes it more dramatic when you do that. So you can have the trailer kind of fade in like this. Give an establishing shot of the area. And then cut it off. Make sure you don't want to make it too long unless you really want to build suspense. And then you can even make it fade out again. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna fade it out though. Uh, and then you're gonna find the clip that you took of your character speaking or whatever action your character was doing. There we go. Cut all the rest of that out because we don't need it. And then here you go, you got the next scene. So you got the opening establishing shot which cuts to the interior shot with the logger. And he's talking and now I'm going to overlay it with a random log uh, so you're gonna want to record if your character speaking obviously you're gonna want to record audio for it well as well uh, you're gonna want to add a audio track uh, I recommend um, I recommend using audacity to record audio it's another free software super easy to set up and uh, you can even use this program called voice mod for a voice changer if you want to make uh, characters like with a helmet have a voice like I do in the art trailers and uh, Yeah, so I'm just gonna add I'm gonna grab an audio file here. Let's just do the operation Delta one <sighs> So this is for This is for the season 4 premiere trailer, but it's gonna be a little bit out of context here, of course um, So I recommend if you're having a character like an establishing shot You want to have like the voice line a tiny bit before this is our last chance you see them on screen and it's it'll really help kind of connect the two shots together this is our last chance if anything messes up so you can see i'll play this back got the opening shot and then you got this is our last chance if anything messes up and then another cool thing you can do is you can add music so i'm gonna add another audio track I'm going to open an, yet another audio file and I'm going to get... Alright, so here's like some super generic music here. I'm going to put it in here and then you can see how it really will make it better. I'm going to kind of give it a fade in as well. And then we can see from the start. Now I notice it's a little loud, so I'm going to go ahead and adjust the volume. You want to make sure that the music isn't too loud. So let's go ahead and adjust the volume and let's test it like that this is our last chance if anything messes up or something goes wrong then i guess this could be the end of the island as we know it but and then after your character has been talking for a while remember how we did multiple shots you can cut to a another shot of your character Let's go ahead and grab uh, the other shot from the other side, like this, and then you'll we got, you see we gotta give it one more shot. And it's a good idea to kind of place it in between sentences or phrases. I guess this could be the end of the island as we know it, but we gotta give it one more shot. 
Anyway. And then also, even that little short phrase is good. And that's the perfect length for that, because as soon as he goes into the other monologue, we can get that final third shot. Of course, you're probably going to want even more than that, but uh, just because this is kind of a test, this is kind of a short little thing. We can kind of see how these different shots kind of improve it. So... We have this first shot I guess here. This could be the end of the island as we know it, but we gotta give it one more shot. Anyway, body body blah, blah, make sure. And you got all those different shots for your trailer. And yeah, that is kind of how you do a cinematic. Maybe I'll go over gameplay trailer in a future video. Uh, don't expect me to make like a ton of like uh, tutorial videos and stuff. I just thought that. I hadn't really seen people talk about the whole trailer making side and content creation part of creative and I just thought it would be a really interesting trailer and hopefully this kind of helped you guys. Uh, I tried to go quite a bit in depth but if there's other things that I missed that you guys want me to cover be sure to leave it in my comment section and you can even join my discord and you can even ask me questions there and that'll probably be a way faster way for me to help you out and because I'd love to help you guys kind of make great trailers because I love to see amazing trailers for BR maps. And yeah, if you guys really, really enjoy the content, you can use my supporter creator code Ben Dominator in the item shop, hashtag ad. That's only if you really want to support me, however, and it does really help, especially with Broom Royale. And yeah, go ahead and subscribe, leave a like, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and goodbye. This is our last chance. If anything messes up or something goes wrong, then I guess this could be the end of the island as we know it, but we gotta give it one more shot. Anyway, body body blah.